did you go? Gonna lay down softly in the meadow. What's up you guys? Hello. Welcome to Guitar Jams on YouTube. Connected to guitarjams.com. Anyway, got got a great colleague here, Tony Bruco. You've probably seen some of the other videos we got going on. And uh, I've just got him hanging out, so I figured, you know, it's always good. You really learn from as many different musicians and pull from as many influences as you can. So I figure that you guys can learn some things out there that maybe I didn't think of or, or from a different perspective. So I know what I'm going to ask you right oh. now because I get, it, I get emailed the question a lot. Okay. Amps. Okay. Amps. Amps, yeah. But, but specifically, how do I get a bluesy tone on my amp? And you would answer that question. I've, I've answered it before, but you would answer it. How do I get that bluesy tone on my amp, Tony? Well, first of all, it's having the right amp, in my opinion. Um, uh, Fender is my preference. Um, okay, and, like, and you're not getting paid to say that? I'm not. No, okay. no. I wish I was. I, no, I know, and I've, I've never been paid for an to say anything I like. So. And there are some newer um, model amps, like the Divided by 13 and stuff that I enjoy too. Right, but which To which get I'm the not. bluesy tone, um, I'll tell you what. For me, it's really using the amp to its fullest potential. Like, a lot of people use pedals, a lot of people use all these different effects and all these different things. I'm more of a guitar straight into the amp kind of guy. Okay. And with a combination of, like, say, a Stratocaster or a Telecaster through, like, a, uh, you know, a Blues DeVille or a Bassman or, or a Deluxe or something, um, is you can really get a lot of different uh, uh, bluesy tones from, sure, the, sure. from the amp. But... Um, I like to keep the mids sort of in the middle, maybe a little past the middle, uh -huh. and with and with uh, the treble just a, you know maybe because I like a warmer tone for my particular blues tone. So and I'll take the bass just uh, you know maybe three or four and um, and I usually use this guitar so this has a lot of tone itself. So it's really a combination and it really depends on the song, it depends on what kind of tone I want. I'll either use this full body guitar or I'll use like a Stratocaster or a Telecaster just depending on the tone. Right, so obviously with like a like a Gibson humbucker guitar you're gonna have uh, you know it's not as bright as a Fender, that's right. You know, Fender Telecaster or whatever. So you know, you have to set your EQs a little differently and things like that. That's right. But basically, what you were talking about, you know, having the right amp. Yeah. You're referring to like a tube amp. Tube amp. Know. Tube amp. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, those are key words here. Yeah. Tube amp. Yeah. Tube. You know, the key, I, you know, I had another video where I kind of covered that a bit, but so like, how much gain? I mean, with a hollow body, you can't use a lot of gain. No. But I but, do have these covers that I put on here that can help me. Without you know, it'll help uh, uh, limit the feedback. Right. Know. But um, gain. Yeah. If I want a real crunchy, crunchy tone, I want to use the overdrive in the amp. You know. Right. Opposed right. to a pedal. Like right. sometimes I'll use a pedal uh, in concert with the amp, but um, I really, like I say, enjoy the natural tones of the amp. And if you have a nice, like let's say a deluxe or something, the overdrive channel is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it's not having to, you don't have to necessarily crank it in order to get the uh, get that crunch, you know. Right. And same right. with the divided by thirteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I love I love my divided by thirteen. I really do. And I love the Fender amps. I mean, I always yeah. have Fender amps. Always. Always. I mean, they're like the staple. Yeah, for for like the blues and soul and funk yeah. and rock. I mean, do everything. I I'm, really. I'm a big fan. Me too. Um, yeah, and that's cool because you're playing a Gibson guitar, but yeah. you know you love the Fender amp, so yeah. and that's fair. Yeah, that's fair to share those ideas. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> share the love. But I've heard you rock before with the non hollow body, and I don't want to yeah. give people the necessarily the wrong impression because you know I know you you can you can rock rock it up. Um, but but basically, what's like your ultimate guitar amp? What's your favorite guitar amp? Well, I like some of the vintage um, amps, the vintage basements, I think. A Fender basement from like the 60s yeah, or something? I'd say, or, um, you know, uh, a deluxe reverbs are nice too. I, I God, I just like, I don't have a one favorite because I'm yeah, so yeah. into tone and I realize that tone 
um, you know, you get different tones with different amps. Right. And I'm, I'm very happy with the overall um, experience with Fender again because like right. every like one of their amps may have a different tone, a different different sure, from sure. each other, but all just incredibly great and wonderful. Yeah, because I have a Fender Twin, mm -hmm. and then I have a Deluxe Reverb. Yeah, and they're really different from they each sure other. They sure are. They're yeah. really different from each other. And and one thing that's really cool too is like. I don't own one. I'd like to have one like a Blues Junior. Uh huh. You know, like a you. I have. I used that on your CD. In fact, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's I'm, great for low volume like recording. And exactly. That's, and that's yeah, what yeah. I'll use in the studio because it's the it's 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 you know in the same family as you got the the uh, the Blues Deville, you got the Blues Deluxe, and then you got the Blues Junior. They're all like related, you know. Right, right. And I feel in the studio, you know, I can give that a little because right. it's a smaller amp. I right. can turn it up and and uh, get some really nice, wonderful tones in the studio. Performance, on the other hand, with drums and stuff, it doesn't have enough cut fees. Cut through, yeah, kind of thing. You know, yeah. it's just not enough power because it's a smaller amp, but yeah. that's where we'll bust out the well, deluxe. Well, let's have the people, uh, we'll play a little some, something from your album. Sure. And that's mostly Fender amps on there, right? Uh, I mean, a combination of different things. There's a few different, but yeah, I'd say mostly Fender. Yeah, yeah, and this guitar's on it a lot, too? Uh, this guitar is on one track. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> you play a lot of different stuff. All right. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Gonna get moving on down the road with my shoes on my shoulder. Barefoot I go. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Start dancing, dancing slow. And if you care to join me, no one will know. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Stars are shimmering softly And the bright moon aglow Won't you move a little closer We got nowhere to go Did you know, did you know 